Hey guys and welcome and welcome back to my channel. As you can see I've got this big old cherry here that I'm sure you guys have seen by now. If you have not then this is the new cherry naked collection from Urban Decay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this down. Basically we're going to be doing a face using everything that comes in this collection. So let's get started and let's get into the video. Let's get, no, yeah, yeah, I was right, all right, let's go. I literally dropped it right after I finished saying that. I dropped the whole cherry on the ground. But anyway, this is the Naked Cherry Palette. I'm excited because I've never tried a Naked Palette before. The only Urban Decay eyeshadow palette I have is the Born to Run, which is a nice palette. So hopefully they have similar uh, formulas for their shadows. It's sturdier than I thought it would be. I've never even touched another Naked Palette, so I'm excited. This is what the inside looks like there we go trying not to blind you with that mirror there and there is a brush on the inside so that's cool i'm going to use the brush to see how that works too now let's see uh what type of look we're going for here so i'm going to start out with this shade here bling and we're just going to blend her out there as my transition shade. And now I'm gonna take the shade Devilish into my crease using the other side. Uh, I was gonna say using the other side of the brush, but this, this is not a crease brush. I might have to switch. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and switch brushes for my crease. All right, I'm gonna switch to this Anastasia brush just to apply that Devilish shade to my crease. So I'm going to go back to the Urban Decay brush and back to the palette and use this privacy shade in my outer corner. Yeah, so even for something like this where you typically want a denser brush, that brush was just still way, like that end is just way too hard. So I switched and I'm using this, where are you from? Ooh, oh, Alomar brush um, to apply that to my outer corner. And for my lid shade, we're going to use Drunk Dial. Yeah. Yeah. But, mm, yeah, let's go with Drunk Dial. Let's see. I mean, the shimmers are shimming, but not how I thought. They ain't shimming like they do from the Born to Run palette. But let's just move on to the rest of my face. Okay, this is where this video goes left. So I thought it would be a good idea to try a new foundation that a brand just sent me. And yeah. I've already gotten this far. I'm not starting over. So we're just, we're just gonna have to try to make this work with some bright concealer. Yeah, all right, so this is this is where we're at right now. Um, try to brighten it up with concealer there. Funny thing is, it's the Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer, which I didn't remember it being this bright, but now I feel like now the center of my face is too bright <laughs> to go along with the dark outer part. You know what, let's, 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 let's just see what we get out of this look. So this is also part of the Cherry Collection. It is their highlights and blush palette. Open it up and there is the blush that I'm going to use. All right, and let's just pop that bad boy on. So the collection also comes with this cherry scented all nighter setting spray. I'm a tad bit annoyed because y'all know I just bought the original full size setting spray and then this one it came in the mail. Let's see here, so shake that up. And, yeah, okay. And then we've got some of their Vice lipsticks. We've got Devilish, which is metallic. Yeah, metallic. Juicy, which is metallic. And then a Cherry, which is a cream, given for the look <laughs> that I've got going here. Let's go with Cherry. Alrighty then, so. See, I feel like if we close this up here, then it's not. It's not that anyway um so i went to go put lashes on it's just like you you already look crazy just just wrap up this video and you know this video is about the urban decay products that i have on not the fact that my complexion looks a mess so i'm just going to run down everything that i tried on from this collection starting with the eyeshadow palette like i said before you know the shimmers 
they shimmin but they ain't shimmin shimmerin you know um i i don't know i just feel like i still prefer the born to run better than i do with this palette um they blend it okay the pigments okay i just kind of feel like this palette's okay whereas the born to run is something that i used a whole lot more after i tried it for the first time and this i can see i won't be picking up often maybe it's the color scheme of this palette y'all know like it's not really colors that i gravitate towards um i've seen other people saying oh it's my new everyday palette and the, you know pinks neutrals those are colors that people would wear every day so i understand that y'all just know that's not me so maybe that's also why i'm just kind of feeling like eh it's just okay but yeah for me it's just okay on this palette um the blush palette i feel like the blush i didn't put highlight on today i was just like again let's just wrap up this video um i only put blush on i feel like the blush is going to give you more of that sheen type of blush i mean you could go hard if you want to i just don't think that you'd you'd want to with this type of blush i feel like it's supposed to give you like that you know just a rosy cheek type of thing the only thing i don't like about the blush and highlight palette the highlights look like they'll be blinging because i've got highlight where some of my blush is because my brush got into the other two i don't like products like that where you know different products for different places on your face touch because then you can easily get your brush in both and then you've got highlight where you don't want highlight and you've got blush where you don't want blush so that's the only thing i don't like about the blush palette i use the setting spray if you use the all-nighter setting spray really the only difference is that it smells like cherry so if you like scented products then it smells like cherry it smells really nice if you don't like scented products then you know it smells like cherry so go pick up the original that uh doesn't have any scent to it and then the last thing is the lipsticks i've tried the vice lipsticks before i believe i did a swatch video if i'm not mistaken this is a cream formula i'm not sure if it's the gloss that i had on before i put lipstick on but it's not it's not as creamy which is a good thing i don't i don't really like creamy lipsticks like that it's giving me kind of like soft matte type finish now it could be the gloss that i had on beforehand or maybe it's just a like soft matte cream lipstick but i'm digging it i like how my lips feel right now and i feel like um it won't move as much as a like satin or cream cream lipstick would on my lips and this color this color is probably <laughs> the only uh saving thing about this makeup look on my face here oh also there were liners in the box so i used this one this is called love drug just to uh line my eyes a little bit and i again i didn't put any um lashes on but if i've heard that they have nice eyeliners this one was really creamy this was really pigmented uh, it kind of blends in with the eyeshadow because it's pretty much the same color as the eyeshadow look that i did but they are pretty pigmented here let's go ahead and swatch that on the back of my hand so that's that on the eyeliner and that's actually it for this entire video i hope seeing me try the urban decay products was helpful for anyone who was thinking of trying them out for themselves make sure to thumbs up comment and subscribe down below thank you all for watching i'll see you in the next one bye